Safari Land Solus ALS. First impressions, let's talk about it. So last week I brought up this particular holster, a Safari Land Solus. It's a new offering by Safari Land. Only a few models out the door, and specifically for the Glock 43X. My last video I discussed the 7360 and the reality that it's not the best holster for that Glock 43X. It'll fit. It'll work in a pinch, but it's not designed for it. This holster is. The only problem, I'm not too impressed. Let me say this. I really like Safari Land products. I always have, and I likely always will. I have multiple holsters on multiple different platforms for multiple different weapon systems. And I'm, I'm pleased. We'll just say that. I'm pleased. Not so much with this holster. If I have anything to say, it might have to do with their quality control. And I think it's a little lacking with at least this particular model. If you get online, you're going to see that I'm not the only one that brings up some concerns. The problem is a lot of people in general are quite happy with their Safari Land products, as am I. So the few that are vocal, they're the minority. However, they express some of the same concerns that I have. And I'm gonna tell you right off the bat, I put my gun in this holster right after opening it from the package, and I could not, under any circumstances, remove the gun. It was completely stuck. I would disengage the ALS mechanism and the gun would not come out of the holster. No matter what I tried, no matter how hard I pulled, it was stuck in this holster. To the point that I had to completely disassemble the holster in order to remove the firearm. Luckily, Safari Land makes this pretty easy and there's just a couple screws that you gotta take out. But I'm sorry, you should not have to completely disassemble a holster that is designed for this gun in order to remove the gun. That's a problem. So once I did some more digging, I realized that there were a few other people that had the same issue. Even on the Facebook post that Safari Land made introducing that holster, there are a few that comment and have some of the same issues that I did. Now, I want to preference this by saying that I have not contacted Safari Land. I'm sure if I did, they would probably send out a new holster and offer a replacement. But then I also read that some other people have had issues with the replacement holster. And to be honest, I'm not going to do this back and forth with Safari Land, getting replacements. They're not working. And it's just this circle of unusable holsters. I'm not doing it. So I did take it upon myself and did a little research online into options that you can do and um, did a little more investigating on what was actually going on with this holster. I'll say this, Safari Land does put in their paperwork that initial fitment can be tight and if you experience issues to even use a little gun oil or lube on the inside of the holster to kind of loosen things up a little bit. So that is in their paperwork. That alone did not work for me. I actually had to use a hair dryer or blow dryer to heat the inside of the holster. 
I did that for about a minute and then I placed the Glock into the holster and kind of let the plastic form around the outside of the firearm. That helped a little bit. It still did not solve the issue. Something else was going on internally on this holster. Now, this holster has an ALS locking mechanism built in. I've never had issues with their ALS. In fact, that's not what's going on with this holster. The ALS mechanism is releasing. This holster is also designed for specifically the Glock 43X, but with an optic and a weapon light, both of which my firearm have. The thing with an optic is most people are running higher sights, higher blade height sights on their firearms. I am as well, specifically night vision sights. Great company, check them out, not sponsored. So when you're dealing with a firearm that has higher sights, you have to accommodate that. And I'm not sure if Safariland did enough testing with that or there's just something internally going on that isn't accommodating different sites, but I think that's what's happening with this holster. I can't say for 100%, but I think that's what's happening. Because once I did the gun oil thing and once I heated the holster and kind of let it cool down around the firearm, I started doing repetitions. Repetitions, inserting the firearm into the holster and removing the firearm for the holster. And every time I did that, and it's still happening a little bit, it's still something I'm working on, the gun was catching. And I noticed that as I pulled the firearm out of the holster, there were plastic shavings, little plastic shavings on this front sight, leading me to believe that this part, this sight, is catching on something in this holster. And every time I'm, I'm doing those repetitions, it's shaving a little bit of plastic. And it's getting better to the point where now it does work and it will remove from the holster. And I can continually do this over and over again to the point where I have a usable holster now. But I had to do some work to get it. And I don't know if that's something you guys wanna do I don't think that's something the customer should have to worry about. And yet here we are with a brand new holster specifically designed for this firearm in this combination with an optic and a TLR7 sub, which is the option I selected, and it would not fit from the factory. So what do you guys think? Does Safari Land have a quality control issue or is it just a fluke? Did I just get a poorly made one? I don't know. At the end of the day, I still like Safari Land. I'm still going to keep continuing to buy their products. But somebody at Safari Land needs to start looking at some of these new products they're putting out and, and making sure they're number one, ready for the market, and number two, that they're done well and that they accommodate the gun they're supposed to work with. I know you got a lot of people online that want this Solus line because it is designed for concealment. It's a very small holster. Um, so if you are OW carrying OWB, it's a great option. I carry IWB in many cases, but when I'm carrying OWB, I like the fact that it has ALS. It has a locking mechanism. So this is one of the few options out there. And when you're purchasing it, you expect it to fit. So yes, I still like Safari Land. Yes, I will continue buying, but I think... They need to really focus on their quality control on some of their product lines. I'll come back with an update um, after I get out to the range and I'm actually able to utilize this holster some more, um, continually doing those repetitions. And I'll provide an update after a year or whatever, letting you guys know how it's performing and how it's holding up. First impressions of the Safariland Solus holster? Not that great, but I like it now. I think it's gonna be a great holster. I'll keep you guys updated. Stay safe and I'll see you out at the range.